it's April 14th today, and we shouldn't be getting any more frosts. So I'm out here with some seeds. I'm gonna do some planting. Um, I won't be planting everything. Some of the <clears throat> warmer weather plants, the real warm weather plants, I won't be planting just yet, like tobacco. Might wait a little bit for that, but I'll be planting a lot of other vegetables and stuff. But one thing, I could have planted um, my mustards and like the brassicas, lettuces. I could have planted them earlier, but I didn't. And But it is what it is. So I'm gonna plant them now. And uh, I pretty much mixed <clears throat> a pack of mustard green seeds in here, brassicas and stuff. I'm going to put that into one bed. And then this is all Swiss chard, uh, spinach, and uh, lettuces. That's going into another bed. So, yeah, join me for some planting and uh, see how this goes. So one thing I decided to do over here is where that spot that was all going to be the herb garden. I decided to make another little spot here beside the path because <clears throat> I'm going to plant uh, popcorn. I have these popcorn seeds and then I got this one which is uh, got from my dad. They're not really planting them. I think it's a little bit older. So uh, we'll just have to see how they uh, grow. But we'll give them a go. We're going to plant a bunch of popcorn here because we really enjoyed having the popcorn last year. <clears throat> Okay, so basically, I'm just gonna be planting these. Um, I did learn not to plant them too close together. So I'm gonna space them out better this time, but they're still gonna go randomly, not in rows or anything. Look at that, popcorn. So I'm just going to stick them kind of randomly, but make sure they're still spaced and closer together because they need to be close so they can pollinate, but they need to be a little bit better. Like even some of these might be too close, but they might look how many seeds I'm dropping it's supposed to be one one there you go just gonna step on this pack it down and I can come over here and do the rest see that should be all right you know what I'm saying that's it Look at that. We had enough in this packet to plant the entire popcorn garden. I don't even need those ones because those ones are a bit old, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Maybe I'll have to put them in the random seed garden. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some of this old schmag on here from the last year's corn. Okay, well that's that for the popcorn. I'm gonna water everything once I'm done planting. Next, I got some more corn. This is the Anasazi corn. This variety was discovered in a cave in New Mexico where the Anasazi people resided. It was found inside a ceramic pot which was sealed with pine sap. So, these seeds are over a thousand years old variety. And these guys are going right into our the sister's garden, which is gonna be right here. Hello. All right, so this is gonna be a bit different because I'm probably gonna do these in rows. But check out all this. This is all Swiss chard. These little seeds from them last year in here. But I'm gonna have to make a line of corn. Line of corn. That even might be a little bit too close. Um, let's see, let's see. 
line of corn. Because I need space for the beans and squash later on in this garden. Line of corn. And line of corn. Wait, that's some more dirt in that area first. All right. I think that's that. All right, so. I'm trying to plant these guys in rows. Not too close together. I think that just about does it for that corn. We plant the corn first and then we wait for them to grow a little bit and then we plant the beans and squash. So pretty sure we plant the beans next and then the squash last. This cute little garden bed. I got an idea for it. I'm gonna plant cucumbers and my snap peas, the seeds I saved from uh, my snap peas last year, and amaranth. I think I'll be able to squeeze them all in here. Call me crazy, but I think I can do it. Oh, it's getting hot. Because I'm going to plant the peas, because please, peas don't make, really don't have a lot of root, roots to begin with, so they should be fine here. I'm literally what I do with peas. Again, I don't know if I get too much benefit from spacing them too much, but that's how I plant peas. Sorry about it if you don't like it, but I, I mean, there's always room for improvement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, those are the peas. And then, plan is cucumber. Four. I'm just going to plant four. Five. Just in case. You know what? Four is probably fine. This bag is... Well, I kind of need to use these things up because they... Jeez. These might not even be fertile anymore. So by December 9, 2019. Well... I guess we'll find out. Whoops, that was two. That was two. That was two. Oh, that's that. Cucumbers are now in there. Maybe I'll put the rest of the cucumbers in the random seed garden. I'll have to look through the plants to see which ones are still good. But either way, what's happening over here now is I'm just gonna sprinkle some amaranths. Cause I really, they're gluten free, grain, and that's what I need in my life. Cause I can't eat that gluten. And see, there's gonna be so many, right? But I'm just gonna wean through them. Wean out the, pick them, pick the nasty ones out and keep the strong ones that I like. So that's how that's gonna be done. All in this one little tiny garden bed. Maximize your space. Peace, I'm telling you. And it's all experimental. It's all experimental in this garden. So that's how we do it here. Strawberry mint. Yeah, that's right. Strawberry mint. We're gonna stick this guy right here. This is the mission to get all the mints. We're doing it. You ready for this? That's how we do it in the urban permaculture garden. We need a little spade. Actually, I use a little spade sometimes. Look at me really roughing up this guy. Didn't need to dig it that deep. Oh no, you know what? That's freaking perfect. That looks good. 
And we'll just move the schmeg around. Keep you nice and cozy in there. Just so I remember. Bam. So I think this one here is going to be the uh, mustard greens, the brassicas for a salad. Mustard salad greens. All right, so this is how it's gonna go. Got the mustard greens. Whoops, pretty much just sprinkle them all right there. Just gonna stir them around. I might actually have to go get more. A lot of these seeds need to get used up anyways, so I brought out the other lettuce. We got the pak choy seeds from the, uh, the pak choy last year, from the seeds that I harvested. And the arugula from uh, the garden arugula that I harvested, so. I'm gonna toss the arugula and pak choy in there. Can't have enough arugula, I'm telling you. This is gonna be a lot of pak choy. <laughs> maybe, maybe too much pak choy, but that's the garden. It's an experiment. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Dust this around. Whoa, <laughs> that just exploded. We got some more goodies. We got broccoli. We got bunching onions. We got Brussels sprouts. We got kohlrabi. They're going right in there. At least, that's the theory. Well, not really the theory. They are going into the bed, but it's the theory of which and if they will grow or not. The plan is to plant in the space Right here. That's the barrier. Because, because, onions, garlic. All right, so by doing that, I've removed the entire thing so I can sprinkle and then put the dirt back on. So I'm gonna start with the good old broccoli. Or broccoli. So by December 2020, so these guys should be okay. I really hope we get Brussels sprouts. It's one that I've been trying to grow, but I've been un unsuccessful. So let's hope this to be the year for the Brussels sprout. But I think it's gonna be a really hot year. So we might not get much for brassicas, but I guess we'll just see how it goes, you know what I'm saying? And Sprinkle in that kohlrabi. The question is, if I should put these bunching onions amongst the broccoli, the mustard greens, the brassicas, or whatnot, because my thought is, no, I'm just gonna do it. Screw it. Screw it. Get in there. These all need to get planted anyways. Poor onions got a little buried, but they're all good. All right, look at that. Boom. If you're still watching, thanks for following along, because we're not done yet. We got we got some cabbage. That's good to go in there. We got some carrots. We got some leeks. We got some celery. Still don't know if I'll be able to grow celery. And again, a lot of these could have been planted earlier. Actually, you know what, all of them. All of these plants could have been planted a long time ago, but um, I'm doing it now. And if you can see, I have some uh, mustard greens. I'm assuming these are radishes. And then all these, the garlic, once again, which they're pretty much like weeds at this point. They're popping up in every garden bed. So, you know what? 
could almost just eat that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like some young garlic greens. But anyways, that's not what we're here for. We are here to plant these bad boys. But first, this thing needs to get removed. I don't need it anymore in this garden. And look how old it is. This thing's raggedy, crotchety. Mix it all. All right. I have no idea how I'm gonna plant this garden. One second. Whoops. Okay, <laughs> this is the plan. I probably make my planting a lot more difficult than it needs to be, don't I? Anyways, I'm going to put all the stuff there first and I'll sweep this back and then I'll put stuff there. Does that make any sense? But we'll start. They're buddies, carrots. Oh goodness, so I know I need to space out the carrots because that's what I didn't do last year. So <laughs> I am going to try by doing this. Bam, some good planting skills. I don't know why I do this. It's just what I do. I don't even know if the celery is going to grow either. But, it's worth a try, I might. We also got leeks. These need to be planted this year, so you know what? I'm just going to do them all. You know what? I'm just going to do all the carrots. Throw the carrots in there and the celery, because I don't think I'm going to have any more luck with celery. <laughs> you all just went in one spot. Okay. So then, and I'm going to put the cabbages on the other side. Then as the season goes, who knows what else I'll be putting in these beds. Be doing some transplanting, see how they grow. And we'll go from there. But for now, this bed is kind of random. It's just, I had a whole bunch of random vegetables. I've been trying to figure out which ones grow well together. And these are the ones that I could come up with. So that's what we're going with. All right. So me and my girlfriend are here. Say hi. Hello. You might not be able to just probably see your feet, but yeah, I don't know why I'm not barefoot. Anyways, um, cause it was cold this morning. Now it's stinking hot. What we got here is it's a hollyhock once again not like we need more of these but it's a rose hollyhock so it's gonna have flowers like this and you all already know that wrote that uh, hollyhocks are edible because they're in the mallow family but yeah, that's what we got so deanna loves flowers I do. but we're gonna be planting really and it really makes the garden look nice mm -hmm. But we might not get flowers from them this year. It might happen next year. Well, we'll have to like establish them. Yeah, we might have to establish, so. But what I'm planting in these gardens, green globe artichoke. I really wanted to try growing artichoke, so I'm gonna try putting some in these. So I don't have much, I don't really know what they can be grown with. If anybody knows um, what you can plant artichokes with please let me know in the comments because i couldn't find much information on these and how what gardens uh, i'd be able to put them in with the plants in them so i'm just going to put them in here this for now Those big gnarly seeds they got okay so artichokes get really stinking big so i'm just going to put two and hopefully one grows. Right. And come on. I'm trying to grab oh, dropping them. I'm trying to grab a nice seed. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Look how cute he is. 
so cute. So cute. Right next to those guys, I got this garden, which last year, um, if you remember, this used to be herbs. That's what it was, but now I'm going to be planting eggplants and zucchinis. That's a difference, isn't it? Yeah, I think the eggplants are going to go here. And the zucchinis are going to go in the back because they both grow well together, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, and I do have a little trellis. So give me a minute here. She's got the box of wildflower seeds. She's going to be planting them over there. And I got a trellis to set up. All right, so this is the crotchety um, thing I got. It's going to go right here somehow. If you're still watching, smash that like button and smash subscribe as hard as possible. Just kidding. I'm just going to plant these guys right here, the zucchini boys. Now we got this decent little trellis. Who knows if it's going to withstand the power of the zucchini, but it's worth, uh, it's worth a try. So right up, little pumpkin seed, right up as close as possible. Put the one. Gonna put the two. Gonna put the three and go put the four. Bash the heck out of it. I don't think I'm gonna plant the uh, eggplant yet. I'm just gonna wait for a little bit, but I'm going to plant it right in here. Probably gonna wait to closer to May to plant the peppers the uh, tobacco, any of the nightshades, and basil, and any of the kind of really warmer plants. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. So I figured out part of my nightmare plan for this herb garden. Got all these seeds here in this empty space. Okay, so this is what I got here. We got cilantro 2020 harvested right here. Uh, we got beet berry. Apparently this grows wild in the mountains of uh, well, the Rocky Mountains here in Canada. I've never seen it in my life. Uh, there's some other strawberry blight is another name for it. Or strawberry spinach, it says right there. But I'm going to grow it. I'm going to, tr well, try at least. And we also got parsley. We got whorehound. We got some old lavender seeds from my dad from 2019 seeds. So they might not work. Put them in anyways. Um, okay, this doesn't need to be going in there. I don't know why I grabbed that. That's cat grass. That needs to be in a pot for inside during the winter. Um, and then we got soy milkweed. So milkweed makes edible seed pods that are like vegetables. Uh, I'd like to try that out. Also, it's the only flower that the uh, monarch butterfly um, goes to. So um, it's going to be a little bit for the environment as well, but we'll just see if it works. It'd be really cool if I could help out the monarch butterflies, but I've literally never seen one in my entire life, so who knows if they're even here. Got my little thing here. Oh, and I also have dill, but I don't think I need to be planting that, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So, all of this, well that's that strawberry mint, so we'll protect from there. All right, so <laughs> since these are all like weeds, I'm just gonna weed them. Does that make any sense? No. Yeah, exactly. So what I'm gonna do, sprinkle them in there. My signature, uh, signature planting. I guess that's Aww. all of them. She was handing it, she wanted some, and I literally wrecked it. So we got parsley. That's a lot. Just toss them. Um, you can even toss them that way if you wanted. Four hound. Not 
world than it looks. It's like someone's getting married. Wanna plant the lavender? You already know. Yeah, yeah, I knew you would. Mm. All right, I'm gonna put the dill. English. I'm just gonna toss the dill everywhere. I'm really excited to see how this garden's gonna grow. I really am excited too. I really hope that Cilantro. we have a nice abundance of things. So oh, we're going to give some stuff away. If you want. Yeah, I agree. I like Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. I like how in the packet it said something like put two seeds. There was barely yeah. any seed. How, I know. How am I going to grab two I know. Seeds? No, some of it's ridiculous. And like, th there's barely any seeds in that. So I hope we get some of that weird strawberry blight. Smag it up a little bit. Smag it up. So this is the last thing we got to do for today in the garden. Ooh, getting tired out. Been out here for a while, getting sweaty. But this is the random seed garden, so we got tons of random seeds. First off, we got the feed corn. Don't ask me why we keep this stuff, but um. Yeah. And then. Wait, oh, pretty corn. Then we got pretty corn, and all this other corn. I'm gonna toss it on the compost. because there's a lot of corn. We also have some random pumpkins. I'm not gonna use all these seeds because I would like to plant some pumpkins in other places. You know what, maybe I should just do them all. I have tons of seeds inside still. Radishes, of course. And those are all the old tobacco seed pods. I don't know if any of them are gonna grow. But those are all the extra. We have way too many tobacco seeds. Just to put like it into perspective. Yeah. For everybody. I don't know if you can like see that. Take a look at that. Alright. There's going to be exposed seeds, but that's just the random seed garden. This is just nature does its scores here. All right, everything's been planted. Well, not everything, but everything we're planting right now has been planted. And I just watered, watered all the beds. And we planted stuff in. And yeah, now we, uh, now we wait to see the progress and wait for the season to get a little bit warmer so we can plant plant the rest of these guys so anyways thanks for watching and uh stay tuned for the future updates of the urban permaculture garden getting super excited to see the progression and see how this place goes this year pretty it's gonna be nuts it's gonna be something different that's for sure anyways thanks for watching and uh i'll see you in the next one